What's good, YouTube? Flash Peace back for another video. All right, uh, what can you say, man? Indiana Fever playing some good ball. Now, now we understand that the uh, you know Atlanta Dream are dealing with some injuries. Uh, you know, you had the the player Ryan Howard, who uh, you know was hurt and everything, or just suffered an injury. Uh, what was it last game, I believe? So we fact that in, but but it still it doesn't take away from how well the Fever played. And actually, the Fever did beat them already with her. So um, you know, we we don't do excuses around here. Uh, another game here <clears throat> where you know Christy Sides has got them playing a good brand of basketball, sharing the ball. You know, a lot of ball movement. Uh, Passing. Look at the number of assists here. Let's see. Eight, nine. 24 assists as a team. That is excellent. That's excellent. Um, you know, that those those types of numbers are up there with uh, some of the better teams in the league, and that's what you want to see. Um, like earlier in the year when, um, you know, they were playing that, that other strategy, you know, they would be around 15 assists. You're talking about 23, that's really good. That's good for the NBA. You're talking about 48-minute games. So that that's excellent. Uh, excellent ball movement on the part of the of, of the Fever. Uh, Alyssa Smith chips in with 21-9. and nine. Aaliyah Boston, solid 10-10 ten and 10 rebounds. Caitlin Clark, very solid game. 16-7-4. Uh, this, this is... Um, this is more like what I think you should be doing to ingratiate her into the league. Uh, she's much better catch and shoot player than I had thought of originally, and I think that would be her bread and butter to begin. Um, and then you start to move her into, you know, really controlling the team. Uh, you still got the seven turnovers there. Um, and pe before anyone says, uh, you know, it's all about the players dropping, but no, it's it's, it's not. The, the, those are a few of the turnovers are those types. Uh, but still, whatever the case may be, um, you know, it's still seven turnovers. I mean, you want that uh, close. But her efficiency was a lot better. She's 50% from the floor. Uh, from three, it was almost like she couldn't miss in the beginning. Uh, very, very, very good. Solid game. <coughs> Excuse me for Keaton Clark there. Kelsey Metro chips in 18 points. Uh, three assists. Four rebounds. <coughs> Samuelson, Katie Lou comes off the bench, uh, provides 10 points. Very good. Very good there to get five from Hull and four from Wheeler. Fever can keep this up. I mean, they're, they're looking like one of the hottest teams in the league right now. You know, maybe it's somewhat dangerous. I mean, I don't know if they're dangerous to the top teams, you know, as far as the Sun, New York, the Aces. The Aces are looking crazy right now. I want to see them tonight, them and the uh, Connecticut Sun. You know, Sun are like the team that I'm picking right now to win it all. But uh, the Aces looked crazy in that last game. Uh, I believe it was against the Sparks. Oh, no, against Seattle. Um, which is another team I'm, I, I love to watch. I think they're one of the most entertaining teams. You got Jewel Lloyd, Skylar Diggins, two players that, I mean, you know, you talking about entertainment. That That's it right there. Um, so, so, um, getting ready for that game. Um, here, as far as this game goes, I mean, you know, I can get into you know what I what I saw as far as um, I still believe it's the interior defense is the key. Uh, you know, the the fever comes into the game with one of the worst defensive ratings, if not the worst defensive ratings as a team. I think most of that happened earlier in the year during this win streak, though they've they've turned that around a lot. Um, you know, in in Atlanta Dream, their their defense was horrible tonight. I mean, there were so many situations where, like, people were missing their assignments. On, on, on um, I guess they were switching things out. Well, matter of fact, I, I don't know what they were doing. Um, I think they were just missing a lot of assignments. There were times where they were switching, and there was times where they were, looked like they were doing one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, Tina Charles, I guess, she missed a couple of little um, opportunities to switch over. 
you know, on a few drives that I saw, but I know she's a little older. So that's kind of like uh, to be expected. She had a strong game, though, 24 points, uh, seven rebounds. Of course, that wasn't enough for them. Alicia Gray had a good game, 19 points uh, with four rebounds. Uh, Ariel Powers, who I like as well, 10 points. Haley Jones, another 12. Uh, but what I, what I saw was um, – the Indiana Fever got out to a really hot start. You're talking about that first quarter, they put up, uh, what was it, 35 points? Yeah, and they and from <laughs> from the field, they were about 67%. I mean, yeah, Atlanta, you know, you're not going to win too many games if you're allowing that. I don't care who you're playing. You know, and then the Fever is a team that's dangerous because <clears throat> cause they can score. And um, I'm looking at backcourts that I've watched so far, and um, – from what I've seen, and like I said, I'm still learning the W. I, you know, I can't uh, speak on it. Like, uh, <coughs> excuse me, wow, I don't know what's going on. This cough, like uh, some of the YouTubers out there, um, but you know, as I'm learning. But from the backcourts I've seen so far, um, you know, you got to start thinking about maybe Kelsey Mitchell and Caitlin Clark being a uh, a possible top five backcourt in the league. Uh, I still think the best backcourt is what the Aces have, you know, whether it's the combination of um, Plum and Gray or, or Jackie Young and Gray, which, whichever way you look at it. I don't, I don't know if it, I guess Plum is usually, <coughs> usually usually the two. Should even if you go with Plum and Young, I still think that's just probably the best uh, backcourt because Jackie Young, from what I've watched, is probably the is just the best two guard or forward I've seen. I know she's supposed to be running the, the, the point, but I don't see her as a point guard. She's more like a two or three to me. Um, but she might be the best I've seen. You're talking about both sides of the floor. She can get you about 21 or a night. <clears throat> Some nights go off for 30. Got three level scoring, and she's a lockdown defender. Um, so far, she's the best I've seen. Uh, that's a hell of a backcourt. I think that's the best. Uh, the second best backcourt I would probably go with is Seattle. You're talking about Skylar Diggins and Jewel Lloyd. Uh, Jewel Lloyd is one of the most skilled, like, um, twos I've seen in, in this league. When women, period. I mean, she kind of reminds me of Meyer Moore uh, or Cynthia Cooper in terms of skill. And unbelievable talent. Uh, Skylar Diggins, as we know, one of the best point guards in the league, but that can also score pretty well. Uh, I would say their their backcourt is probably two, in my opinion. Um, third, uh, probably had to go with um, either what they got in New York in that school and, and Laney Hamilton, maybe. Um, or or Tarasi and, Co and Copper, maybe. You know, it could be three, four out of one of them, four, three. And then, and then the next dot, this next spot, you might have to think about uh, Mitchell and, and Caitlin because they're playing well now. Like, early in the year, it didn't look that way because it didn't look like they played well together. But now, you know, they, they look like they might be they might be in that spot. If I'm wrong, you know, someone correct me. Um, I don't know. Um, but Fever, um, they play like this. They, they might be a little dangerous. Don't know if they're a threat to those top teams. I'm not going that far. But uh, <clears throat> for those middling teams, yeah, any given night, I mean, they could go off. Um, and um, if they're going to continue to play this type of interior defense, you know, by Leah Boston in particular, man, they're dangerous. I'm really, really impressed with Boston's interior defense. People don't understand how important that is to everything that they're doing. Um, <clears throat> you know, you're talking, about, you're talking about an anchor. If you have a defensive anchor, that that is so big. That's so big, and um, that's what she's. That's what Aaliyah is providing the team. She makes her job. It makes her job so. It makes every. It makes everyone else's job just so much easier when you have an anchor like that, a big, you know, that's handling their business. Um, you know, like I said, it's only ten points a night, but over the last four, she's been averaging almost twenty points. You know, she was Eastern Conference Player of the Week for a reason, you know. And um, I see what she's doing. You know, I, I'm watching and I see the effectiveness. But, again, like I've said, I, I, I kind of see basketball a little different from, from many. I, I kind of look at 
I see things from a defensive standpoint. So the the main uh, change right now, the Fever, I think they've been playing much better defense. Though the Atlanta Dream is also uh, possibly a little discombobulated without a, um, a major player of their own. So, yeah, good job, Fever. Um, I think the next guy, the next game is against uh, Chicago. So, um, and, you know, everybody's getting ready for that one. <laughs> Chicago, you know, you've already lost two to the Fever. Let's see what happens now. They're finally in Chicago. So, um, I don't know. This is gonna be. This is gonna be a good one. You know, so I'm um, about to get ready for this uh, Aces and Connecticut game. Um, I think I'm going to I'm going to do analysis and breakdown of that game for the, for the first time as well. Pretty much, I've been kind of like doing breakdown analysis of Fever games and um, Chicago Sky games, but I, I'm I'm going to do that. Uh, you know, got some of my favorite players to watch: Carrington, Jackie Young, Plum, Asia. I mean. Uh, Alyssa, this is going to be a war. So I'll get with y'all after that game. Peace out.